Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the second video on financial accounting. In this video, we are going to solve exercises on forms of business organization, users of accounting information, business activities, accounting equation, and financial statements. Please like, subscribe, and share my channel to search for accounting lessons and hit the notification bell button to alert you for the latest video. For all of your questions, comments and suggestions, please put them in the comment section below. And for webinar and guest speaker invites, please send me a message at accountingamir at gmail.com. We hope that this video helps students in their academic development and teachers in enhancing their lesson plans and teaching methodologies. So let us start with solving the exercises. Now match each of the following forms of business organization with a set of characteristics. Sole proprietorship, partnership or corporation. So shared control, tax advantages, increase skills and resources. If it is a shared control, this is going to be partnership. Simple to set up and maintain control with the founder. It is simple as well. So this is going to be sole proprietorship. Easy to transfer ownership and raise funds and no personal liability that is a corporation okay now let us look into the next exercise presented below are five independent situations so these are the five oh i missed this here this is number c a b c d and e these are the five independent situations and in each case explain what form of organization the business is likely to take sole proprietorship, partnership or corporation and we have to give reasons as well. Now three physics professors at MIT have formed a business to improve the speed of information transfer over the internet for stock exchange transactions. Each has contributed an equal amount of cash and knowledge to the venture. Although their approach looks promising, they are concerned about the legal liabilities that their business might confront. So in this case, the main concern of, of these professors is the legal liabilities. So it was advisable to uh, form uh, to, to choose a corporate form of business organization and not partnership because in case of partnership, the liability will be unlimited. Ed, a college student, looks for summer employment, opened a bait shop in a small shed at a local marina. And obviously, in this case, it should be the sole proprietorship to be opted and not any other form because it is simple. It is, um, you, they don't need any, um, they don't need any more, more resources or you know, shared control, etc. Then John and Ron each own separate shoe manufacturing business. They have decided to combine their businesses. They expect that within the coming year, they will be, they will need significant funds to expand their operations. Now, since they need significant funds to expand their operation. So again, in this case, corporation will be a better choice and not partnership. Now, Crystal, Ellie and Harry recently graduated with marketing degrees. They have friends. Uh, they have friend, been friends since childhood. They have decided to start a consulting business focused on marketing, sporting goods over the Internet. Now, since they have been friends and they want to do the business jointly and this is a consulting business as well. So partnership 
would be the most appropriate form from them. Then Mark Willis wants to rent CD players and CDs in airport across the country. His idea is that customers will be able to rent equipment and CDs at one port, listen to the CDs on their flights and return to equipment and and CDs at their destination airport. Uh, CDs as well. Uh, of course, this will require a substantial investment. In equipment now since this is a substantial investment so corporate form of business organization will be most appropriate it should be corporation in this case okay now match each of the following type of evaluation with one of the listed users of accounting information uh, trying to determine so these are the listed these are the different users and we have to find who is going to be interested okay let us look at the first one trying to determine whether the company complied with tax laws and it will be the internal revenue service trying to determine whether the company can pay its obligation this is going to be the creditors trying to determine whether the marketing proposal will be cost effective obviously it will be the marketing manager number three Trying to determine whether the company's net income will result in a stock price increase. This is for the investors and trying to determine uh, uh, whether the company should employ debt or equity. And in this case, obviously, it is the CFO, Chief Financial Officer, number five. Let us go to the next exercise. The Fair uh, View Golf and Country Club details the following accounts in its financial statements. And these are the set of accounts. We have to number A. We have to classify each of the above account as an asset, liability, stockholder, equity, revenue, or expense. So, and then we have to classify them as financing activity, investing activity, or operating activity. So first one accounts payable accounts payable is a liability and this is going to be a operating activity account receivable is an asset and this is also a operating activity equipment is an asset and this is a investing activity sales revenue and service revenue both of them are the revenues and these are operating activities inventory is an asset and obviously this is a operating activity mortgage payable is a liability and this is going to be a financing activity then supplies rent and salaries all of them are expenses and each one of them is a operating activity next let us look into another simple exercise presented below are a number of transactions Determine whether each transaction affects common stock, dividends, revenue, expenses or does not affect stockholders' equity. Provide titles for the revenue and expenses. So, cost incurred for advertising. This is an expense and this will be an advertising expense. Assets received for services performed. This is a service revenue. Uh, and then, obviously... Uh, let me put as as they say r for the revenue then cost incurred for insurance this is an expense and this will be a insurance expense amount paid to employees is an expense and the title will be salaries and wages expense cash distributed to the shareholders is dividend assets received in exchange for allowing the use of company uh, building this is going to be rent but this will be rent revenue because the company is receiving money and not paying the rent then come cost incurred for utilities and utilities expense uh, utilities is an expense then cash purchase of equipment and this is going to be uh, what we said do not affect stockholders equity nse and then we have issued common stock for cash and this is going to be capital next let us look into a question on accounting equation 
use the basic accounting equation and the basic accounting equation is liabilities plus stockholder equity the liability of delay so we go for part a the liability of delay is ninety thousand and stockholder equity is 230 so what is the amount of total asset we simply add up the two for the assets and that will be 320,000. Okay, we go to part B. The total assets are 170,000. And its stockholder equity is 80. What is the amount of liability? So 170 minus 80 is 90,000. Okay, we go to number C. The total assets are 800,000. And its liabilities are equal to one-fourth of uh, its total assets. We do not know the stockholder equity. 800,000 is equal to 200,000 plus so the stockholder equity will be 800 minus 200 that is equal to 600,000 okay we go to the next exercise at the beginning of the year PL company has total assets of they have total assets of 800,000 and total liabilities of uh, 500,000. That means the stockholder equity is uh, 300,000 because assets is equal to liabilities plus stockholder equity. And we look at the first one, if the total assets increase by 150 and the total liabilities decrease by 80, what is the amount of stockholder equity? So now the total assets are going to be 950. And this will be 420. So 950 minus 420. This is equal to 830,000. Five and... 950 and yes because we already have if you calculate 9, nine so 950 minus 420 this will be 530 plus the stockholder equity so that will be 830,000 we look at number C if the total assets decrease by 80,000 and the equity increase by 110,000, what happens to the liabilities now? So now we have the total assets of 720,000. The liabilities um, already there we have. Uh, so the stockholder equity will be um, 410,000. And the liabilities are going to be 720 minus 410. And this will be equal to 310,000. We have the total um, equity 410. We have the total assets 720. And total equity minus total assets is equal to the liabilities. Let us look into the next exercise. In alphabetical order, below are the balance sheet and balance sheet items and we have to prepare the balance sheet. We have accounts payable 65,000.
then we have accounts receivable 71000 uh, we have cash 22000 and common stock 28000 so the total will be 93000 and 93000 you can see that the assets is equal to liabilities plus stockholders equity we move on to the next exercise uh, indicate whether each of these items is an asset liability or a part of a stockholder equity account receivable is a asset salaries and wages payable is a liability equipment is an asset supplies is an asset common stock is a part of a stockholders equity and notes payable is a liability okay we move on to the next exercise march corporation began the operations and we have to prepare the income statement retained earning and the balance sheet in the income statement we record only the revenue and expenses so we have the income statement and the revenue in this case for service revenue is twenty five thousand. then we have the rent expense of ten thousand. we have advertising expense of four thousand we have supplies expense of 1700 so you can see that supplies expense is an expense and supplies is a asset so the total will be 15700 and then total revenue minus total expense is 9300 that is the net income now when we prepare the retained earning statement there is no beginning retained earning to this we add the net income we have already calculated 9300 and from this we will subtract the dividend of 2000 so the total is 9300 and we will subtract the dividend the dividend is 2500 so this will be equal to 6800 <clears throat> next we prepare the balance sheet and we can see that we have cash 3100 then we have accounts receivable and accounts receivable is 2000 we have supplies and supplies is 1900 and then we have equipment 26800 so the total is 33,800. We look at the liabilities and we have a no accounts payable and a notes payable. Five, we have notes payable 7,000, accounts payable is 5,000. So the total is 3,100. These are our liabilities. Common stock is 15,000 and retain earning we have already calculated as 6800 so the total is 21800 so the total will be 33800 okay next we uh, go to the next exercise um, we have the in this information relates to alexis company we have retain earning advertising dividend and all after analyzing the data prepare an income statement so we have the service revenue and the service revenue uh, is 58000 from this we will subtract the expenses we have the salaries and wages of 30000 we have the rent expense of 10400 we have utilities 2400 and we have advertising expense of 1800 so the total expenses are 13000 sorry 44600 and the net income will be 13400 okay then we prepare the retained earning statement for this we have the beginning retained earning of We have the beginning retained earning of 67,000. Then we have the net income we have already calculated 13,400. 
so the total is 67,000 <clears throat> sorry uh, 67 plus 13,400 is 80,400 and from this we are going to subtract the dividend that we have paid for 6,000 so this is equal to 74,400 okay so we move on to the next exercise uh, on the next page and we have a set of information and we have to prepare the income statement and the retained earning statement again we have the revenue and expenses and the revenue is sales revenue is 38,576 then we have the cost of goods sold and the cost of goods sold is material and production expense 9018.9 then we have the selling and ad administrative 8543.20 then we have the research and development expense i missed it i am sorry for that that is 5845 and then we have the income tax expense 2267.6 so the total will be 25674.7 and total revenue minus total expense will be 12901.3 next we prepare the uh, the the we prepare the retained earning statement and for the retained earning we have the beginning retained earning of 43 698.8 we have the net income of 12901.3 uh, sorry net income of 12901.3 so the total is 56600.1 and from this we will subtract the dividend of 3597.7 that is 53002.4 now suppose that merck decide to reduce its research and development expenses by 50% what would be the short term implication the short term implication will be that the expenses will go down by 50 percent of research and development expense but add and this will lead to an increase in the net income and when the net income will increase even the retained ending retained earning will also in increase but in the long term yes i mean there it may have a negative impact on the price of the stock because they are investing less in research and development next we, uh, we go to another exercise presented here is information and we have the beginning retained earning etc and we have to prepare the retained earning statement now we have the beginning retained earning of 130,000 uh, and we do not have the net income but we have the revenue and the expense so total revenue minus total expense will give us the net income that will be 225,000 and the total will be 355,000. From this, we will subtract the dividend of 65,000. And this will give us the retained earning as 290,000. Okay. The following items are uh, anything else? Uh, yeah. Now, following items and amounts were taken from Linus Incorporation uh, in 2022 income statement and the balance sheet. Now, here we have cash and what we are supposed to do is in each case identify on the blank line whether that item is an asset, liability, stockholder, equity or revenue and we have to prepare an income statement as well. So, first of all, we look into what the, these items are. Cash is an asset account receivable is an asset retained earning is uh, we are going to uh, is 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 a uh, is a stockholder equity 
Uh, sales revenue is revenue no doubt cost of goods sold is a expense income tax payable is a liability expense is an expense account payable is a liability prepaid insurance is a asset service revenue is revenue inventory is an asset interest expense is a expense now we prepare the uh, we prepare the income statement and for this we are going to have the the revenue and we have the sales revenue and we have service revenue so sales revenue is 584 951 and service revenue is 4806 so the total revenue is 589 757 and then we have the cost of goods sold and the cost of goods sold is 44 38 458 then we have salaries and wages expense 115131 interest expense 1882 so the total is 555 471 and the total revenue total net income will be total revenue minus total expense that is 34 286 we move on to the next exercise um, here are incomplete financial statements for liam incorporation so we have the assets and the we have the lab we have the balance sheet and we have to prepare the uh, we have income state we have the incomplete balance sheet income statement retained earning and i think i missed the number over here this number should be five thousand okay now uh, we now uh, look here we have the ending retained earning of 27000 so retained earning will be 27000 uh, and now we can calculate the common stock that will be 5000 plus a plus 27000 and this is equal to 62 that means a will be equal to 30,000 common stock a is 30,000 and retained earning is 27,000 now we know that for the beginning retained earning we have 12,000 we have to this we if we add the net income that we do not know and we have to subtract the dividend 12000 plus e minus 5000 is equal to 27000 so if we solve it this will be equal to 20000 so the net income now is 20,000 so D is substituted for 20,000 so 20,000 is equal to 85,000 minus C minus 10,000 so now C will be equal to 55,000 okay we move on to the next exercise <clears throat> Deer Track Park is a private camp camping ground near the Latham, uh, Latham Peak Recreation Area. It has compiled the following information. We have to determine the track park's net income for 2022. And for this, we are going to look into the service revenue. You can see the service revenue is 132000 and then we have the sales revenue and the sales revenue is 25000 so the total revenue is uh, how much is will be 157000 from this we will subtract the expenses they have given the aggregate expenses 126000 
So the net income is total revenue minus total expense that is 31,000. Then we move on to the retained earning statement. And for the retained earning, we have the beginning retained earning and beginning retained earning is 5,000. The net income we have already calculated that is 31,000. So that total will be 36,000. From this, we are going to subtract the dividend of 9,000 and this will be equal to 27,000. Next, we prepare the balance sheet and for balance sheet, we have cash of 8,500. Then we have the supplies and the supplies are 5,500. We have equipment for 114,000. So if you make the total, this is 128,000. Next, we have the liabilities and we have the two liabilities. We have the two liabilities. We have notes payable and we have what else? We have accounts payable. So notes payable is 50,000 and accounts payable is 11,000. So that makes 61,000. Now from this, we are going to uh, next we move calculate the stockholders equity. And for this, the common stock is 40,000 and retained earning is 27,000. We have already calculated. So the total is 67,000. And when you make the total, this is 128,000. And you can see that assets are equal to liabilities plus stockholder equity. So we have prepared the net income, we have prepared the retained earning and the balance sheet. We move on to number C. Upon seeing this income statement, Ken Zilber, the camp ground manager, immediately concluded the general store is more trouble than it is worth. Let's get rid of it. Now, if you look at the um, uh, marketing directors and so sure, this is a good idea. What do you think? Now, what I think when I look at the sales over here by the store is 25,000 and the total sales is 157,000 so it is going to be equal to 16 percent so they are contributing to the business and obviously uh, we since we have the aggregate expenses we do not know how many expense how much expenses are incurred by the uh, by the uh, by the store so uh, we cannot say if it is actually making profit or a loss, but we should also keep in mind that this is a camping ground. So people need, may be needing things for um, uh, when they come for camping, maybe water and other food items, etc. So having a store may be crucial, even if it is country generating loss, because maybe the that the the they will find less people visiting this place if there is. Uh, there are no stores over there. Let us look into the next exercise. Kellogg Company is the world's leading producer of ready-to-eat cereal and a leading producer of grain-based convenience foods such as frozen waffles and cereal bars. These are the items were taken from its 2022 income statement and the balance sheet. All dollars are in millions. In each case, identify whether the item is an asset, liability, stockholder equity, revenue or an expense so retained earning is a stockholder equity item long-term debt is a liability cost of goods sold is an expense inventory is an asset selling and administrative expenses net sales is revenue accounts pay bill is a liability cash is an asset common stock is obviously stockholder equity if uh, then we have notes payable, liability, income tax, expense, interest, expense, other expense. All these are qualifying as an expense. Now we have to prepare an income statement. And when we prepare the income statement, we will take the, again, the revenues and the expenses. And we can see the revenue in this exercise is how much. The revenues are... 
12,575. So this is the total revenue. Then we have the cost of goods sold, 7184. We have selling and administrative, 3390. Uh, we have income tax expense of how much? 476. And then we have the um, the interest expense of 295. So the total will be 360 minus so it will be 11,345 and we will subtract this from the total revenue 12575 and this will be 1230 now there may be ma mathematical calculation mistake and you can verify if there is any mistake okay uh, we move on to the next exercise and this information is for o'brien's corporation for the year ended december 31 and we have to prepare the statement of cash flow now you know that when we prepare a statement of cash flow we have the operating activity cash flow investing activity cash flows and the financing activities cash flow so we start with the operating activities and the cash received from customers are 50000 and cash paid to suppliers is 16000 so there is a net cash flow of 34000 then we have the cash flow from investing activities we have cash paid for new equipment and because we are paying that is an outflow of cash so net cash flow for investing is 28000 then we have cash received from lenders and the cash received from lenders is 20000 then cash dividend paid uh, is 8000 so again we have cash provided by financing activities is 12000 and if we sum up the three there is a net increase in cash by 18000 and cash at the beginning was 12 so the total is uh, 30000 now referring to the statement of cash flow evaluate o brian's ability to repay its creditors now o brian they have generated 34000 cash from their operating activities and this amount is more than uh, covered its expenditure not only for new equipment but uh, for both that is equipment purchases and the dividends paid so i think they are financially sound their credibility is good let us look into another exercise <clears throat> the following data are derived from 2022 financial statement and after analyzing the data we have to again prepare the statement of cash flow again don't forget we use operating activities investing and financing activities and cash received from customers is 9823 million then the cash paid for goods and services is 690 uh, 6978 million and this is equal to 2000 845 then we have cash flows from the investing activities and cash that is cash paid for the uh, property and equipment is 1529 so the net cash is 1529 then we have received uh, we go for the financing activities and cash received from 
issuance from long term debt is 500 then we have uh, cash received from issuance of common stock 144 and then we have cash paid so this is an outflow 1001 then we have cash paid for repayment of debt is 122 again we is this is outflow cash paid for dividend is 14 and that is also going to be negative so the net cash used by financing activities will be 493 negative that is so then there is, if you look at sum up the net increase in cash will be 823 and cash at the beginning was 1390 so the total is 2213 that is the cash at the end of the year now we can see that okay discuss whether the company's cash from operations was sufficient to finance its investing activities and if you look over here the southwest has uh, net cash positive that is 2 million 2845 million while they have spent how much they have spent they have spent only 1529 in their investing activities uh, so they have sufficient funds as far as to finance its investing activities. They are substantially large. We move on to the next exercise. Andrew Davis is the bookkeeper for, for a company. Andrew has been trying to get the balance sheet. It's finally balanced. But now he is not sure if it is correct or not. Now you can see that the, the, the balance sheet, are, the totals are equal. But there are some mistakes. We don't record dividends. We don't uh, record accounts payable in the liabilities. And we are going to have the retained earning at the end of the period. So we have cash. Fair enough. We have, uh, it will be uh, with the assets. Accounts receivable. They will go to the assets. And not uh, they will not be subtracted from the balance sheet. Uh, from, the, uh, from the liabilities side. So accounts receivable will be plus 12,000. We have supplies of 9,500 and there is equipment of 40,000. So the total is 79,500. Now, when you look at the liabilities, we have accounts payable and accounts payable is 16,000. That is good. Now, common stock is uh, 40,000 and for the retained earning you see we have 31 and from this we will subtract the dividend of 8 so that is going to be equal to 23500 so the total is 63500 and the total is 79500 okay we move on to the next exercise we have the following items uh, that are taken and we have to classify each of these items as an asset liability and stockholder equity and determine the total dollar amount for each classification so uh, for the assets we have cash 2291.10 we have accounts receivable 2883.90 inventory is 2357 we have equipment as 1957.7 and then uh, what else we have we have other assets of 3759.90 so the total is 13249.6 then we have the liabilities and for the liabilities we have the notes payable and the notes payable is three is 342.9 then we have accounts payable 2815.8 then we have uh, the then we have other liabilities 1311.50 and income tax payable is 86.3 so the total is 
then we have the common stock and the common stock is 2874.20 the retained earnings is uh, uh, already given as 5818.9 so the total is 8693.10 <clears throat> determine Nike's accounting equation so if we make the accounting equation we know that assets is equal to liabilities plus stockholder equity so the assets are one three uh, we have a total of assets we have the total of the liabilities and we have the total of stockholder equity and you can see that the total of liabilities and stockholder equity is equal to the total of the assets okay uh, then to what extent does nike rely on debt and what we can see is it has relied more heavily in this case on the equity than on the debt you can see that uh, the uh, the debts are how much uh, that four five five six point five over total assets 132 49.6 so it may be about more something more than 30 percent it is maybe may, it is more than 30 percent you can calculate and when we look for the debt the debt is going to be 8693.10 divided by total assets 13249.6 and this is going to be more than i believe 60 percent so it is it is relying too much as it is 60 percent you can see the the difference is almost the double next uh, let us go to another exercise now uh, the summaries of uh, we we have the summaries of data for the balance from the balance sheet income statement and retained earning statement for two corporations now there are two this is i forgot to write this is bates corporation and we have wilson are presented below we have the total assets and all this information is we have to determine the missing amount okay so let us start with the bates first of all we have we we have the total assets we have the total liabilities and we know that assets is equal to liabilities plus the stockholder equity so assets minus liability will be stockholder equity and that will be 40,000. Then we have total assets. Uh, we do not know, but we know the liabilities and the stockholder equity. And we know that assets is equal to liabilities plus the stockholder equity. So that is equal to 180,000. We go to number. Uh, okay, next we have the number c uh, changes during the uh, year in retained earning now we have the total revenue and we have the total expenses so total revenue minus total expense will give us the net income that will be 90000 total revenue minus total expense and total revenue minus total expense uh, and the what else can we add over here mm. and then the stockholder equity is 60000 okay stockholder equity now you can see for the beginning of the year the stockholder equity is 40,000. Then during the year, we have incurred, a, uh, we generated revenue of 215,000 and we incurred expenses of 165,000 and we do not know the dividends. 
and this is equal to the ending stockholder equity of 60,000. So the dividends, if you solve this equation, the dividends will be equal to how much? Dividends will be equal to 30,000. Forty plus two one five minus one six five minus sixty, and then we can solve it. Okay. Uh, Forty plus one twenty five minus one sixty five. Uh, okay, if you want me to solve it, let me solve it. Uh, Forty thousand plus two one five minus. 165 so this is equal to 90,000 uh, minus D is equal to 60,000 so minus D is equal to 60 minus 90 so minus D is equal to minus 30 so D minus will cancel out so D is equal to 30,000 okay it is messy let me clean it up a bit uh, cut so now we move on to Wilson this was Bates and now we have Wilson and again for Wilson assets are 150 uh, the liabilities are we know the stockholder equities and you know so assets minus equity will be the liability that is 80,000 uh, at the end this is the beginning of the year and then we have the end of the year we have 180 and we have 55 so the stockholder equity will be 180 minus 55 that is 125,000 once again we, we we do not know the revenue but so but we know the beginning is stockholder equity and the beginning is stockholder equity is 70,000 to this we are going to add the revenue that we do not know number f and from this we are going to subtract the expenses that is 80000 we will subtract the dividend that is 5000 and this is equal to the ending stockholder equity of 125 so now if you solve so the f will be equal to 140000 so <clears throat> The total revenue will be 140,000. So this completes our uh, video explanations on second uh, on financial accounting. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed this presentation. And if you found value in this video, then please like, subscribe and share my channel and hit the notification bell button to alert you for the latest video. For webinar and guest speaker invites, please send me a message at accountingamir at gmail.com. Accounting is AK. Remember, effective questioning brings insight, which fuels curiosity, which cultivates wisdom. If you have any question or any suggestion regarding this session, then please put them in the comment box below or by email and inshallah, I will reply you back. Thank you so much and happy learning.